An easy way to improve your lawn is just to rake it, but is raking any good for your lawn and why does it work? And what about mulching? People get very excited about it, but there are some real dangers to it you want to be aware of. And lastly, can we make raking any easier? And I'm going to show you a couple of ways to do it, one very inexpensive, and then a high-end machine to show you the options that are available for any budget so that you can improve your space. Raking leaves on top of your lawn of course is important, but what about between the grass plants? You have to remember that your lawn is actually comprised of millions of individual plants of grass. Now if you picture say a field of corn, that field is comprised of many corn plants that make it up, and you don't want anything in between those plants that shouldn't be there. So things like rocks, sticks, debris, acorns, and pine needles can smother that space, and they're going to ultimately hurt your lawn. So one of the reasons that you want to rake is to mechanically clean up the junk that exists between those plants to make sure it has plenty of space to thrive and spread. And then we come to mulching because it seems like the answer to everything. You can take all this garbage, grind it up, and feed it right back to your lawn and you're getting fertilizer for free. Now you can go ahead and do that and you won't have to rake again, but you're never going to get a lawn that looks any good because people make a mistake when it comes to mulching. You can't take all that crap and feed it to a bad lawn that looks like this. You've got to wait until you get your lawn in good shape. And the way that you'll do that is to start your renovation, bag your clip and rake and get it looking healthy. And then when your lawn looks like this, you can introduce mulching and use it throughout the season. So the key to mulching working is the timing. The most important reason that you rake your yard in the springtime is to dethatch it. Now thatches that build up of dead grass, these can interfere with fertilizer, water usage, and all sorts of other problems that can also harbor disease. But if you're going to rake your lawn for dethatching and you're using a rake like this, you're never going to finish. And if you are going to rake your lawn, you want it to be easier. My first suggestion is to buy one of these. This is a hand rake called the Groundskeeper 2. It's made in the USA and it's built really well. But the reason to buy this rake is because of how it works. It's got a patented head on it and this thing goes into my lawn and it's able to pull out thatch even though the lawn looks pretty good. This rake is phenomenal for another reason because it actually has less pull on your back. If you don't want to spend a lot of money and you want to be able to rake your yard with less effort, this is the only way to do it. Now on the opposite end of the spectrum is this. This is a British made lawn mower that can actually take different cassettes to do different jobs. Runs on a lithium ion battery and I've installed the dethatching cartridge. This thing will essentially power rake my yard with a lot less effort. In this particular model, made in England is the Allet Liberty. This is a great machine. It's actually the least expensive real mower that you can buy in the United States today. And it works great, but it is going to be for somebody with a much larger budget. Now there are other electric dethatchers you can get that'll do the job just as well, but they're not going to be as well made and they definitely won't be a real mower. But I wanted to share this with you so you could see another way that you could do it with electric power. This machine's a little bit small for my lawn, but I still did the whole thing with it. And it did a great job, and it really should because it has a high price tag, but at least the quality is there and it was really fun to use. And again, you can get other brands of electric dethatchers, but this is going to fit the kind of person that's looking for one that also is a lawnmower. You can see the kind of debris that came out of just one bucketful. This thing does a great job, and in a previous video, I used it to pick up acorns, and it really did an amazing job pulling them out of the dirt. And this is what my lawn looked like when I was finished. It looked so much better. The debris was up and it almost looked like it had been vacuumed. Now I realized that if you use an electric unit, it's going to go a lot quicker. But for years, I just used a rake and I could still get the job done. But the bottom line is raking works. It can give you a perfect lawn, but it's something you want to start early so you keep your lawn in great shape for the season. Hopefully you enjoyed this video, got you to learn something new, and maybe showed you a couple of options to help rake your yard a little bit easier. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for more videos coming up.